The Watchmen is a show that's filled with mysteries. Who killed Judd? Was Judd really a Klansman? Who is Jeremy Irons playing? But the big question after episode two is, why did the claw just take away Louis Gossett Jr.? The well, I've got a few answers and theories here on Screen Crush. First, let's recap what happened. Lou Gossett's character, Will, claims that he killed Judd, the police chief. He tells Angela that Judd has... He had skeletons in his closet. She investigates and finds a clan robe hidden in his closet, comedian style. Then later, she discovers that he is actually her grandpa and that he wanted to warn her... There is a vast and insidious conspiracy at play here in Tulsa. So, what is this conspiracy and why is a centenarian like Will at the center of it? Well, first let's review what we know about Will and his possible double identity. His father served in World War I, like we see in this episode. The Germans dropped flyers on a regiment of black soldiers, and these are actual real-life flyers. The propaganda had a strong effect on Will's dad, and he even carried the paper with him years later. The passage that's read aloud says, And how about the law? Is lynching and the most horrible cruelties connected there with a lawful proceeding in a democratic country. So his father realized that the American justice system didn't protect him. He passed on this idea to his son when Will found the flyer in his father's uniform and read it. This is also the same paper his parents wrote the note on when they sent him away from the Tulsa race riots. And by the way, this note has a great choice of words. It doesn't say, protect this boy, it says, watch over this boy. Watch, as in the show's title, implying that Will needs a watchman to protect him. By writing this note on this specific paper, his parents weren't appealing to police or a civil servant. They were appealing to an individual for help because, as the flyer states, they can't find justice within the system. And that word justice is important because I think it reveals Will's real identity. I think that he is actually the 1930s and 40s hero Hooded Justice. We see Hooded Justice portrayed in the episode of American Hero Story, which, by the way, kind of seemed to amplify its violence to mock Zack Snyder's Watchmen movie. So far, do you think the show is better or worse than the Zack Snyder film? Let me know in the comments below. Hooded Justice was the original superhero who inspired all of the others to put on masks and fight crime. In the comics, he's very right-wing and even takes sexual pleasure from violence. The comics also imply that he was actually a circus strongman and German immigrant named Rolf Moeller. So the episode of American Hero Story begins with Rolf drowned in Boston Harbor. Interesting side note, the woman who typed the flyer in Germany was named Moeller, so it's possible that she could be Rolf's mother. Symbolically, I think this is a beautiful touch. Her typing created Will's worldview and maybe made him become a vigilante. So decades later, people would think that her son, also her creation, was actually Hooded Justice. So why do I think Will is the superhero and why does that mean he flies away on an airship at the end of the episode? Well, first of all, look at the costume. The first image of the Watchmen TV show is a film that portrays real life black marshal Bass Reeves chasing down a corrupt sheriff and then decrying mob justice. In this perfect movie universe, black Americans in the 1920s can not only find justice, but they can dispense it against corrupt whites. Young Will loves this movie and it makes sense that he would look up to Bass Reeves' brand of justice when he became an adult. In our Easter egg video, we pointed out that Hooded Justice looks like the Bass Reeves costume. But maybe this isn't just an Easter egg, and Will modeled Hooded Justice after this Bass Reeves film. Will's origin is also so much like Superman's that it would be weird if he wasn't a superhero. Both of them were put in a vehicle and sent away from danger by their parents, they landed in a field, and then they both became orphans. And they were both the first superheroes in their universes who inspired others to follow in their footsteps. Also, Hooded Justice wears a hangman's noose around his neck. In the comic, this was to invoke the simple ways of the Old West. Back then, when the law failed, the people turned to vigilante justice to restore order. The bad guys were bad and they deserved hanging. But Will wearing a noose around his neck makes this an ironic statement. He's saying that if he were just a black man running around beating up white people, they would hang him. But if he puts on a costume, that protects him from society's racism. Just like how the police in the Watchmen TV show wear masks so they can fight crime and racism. But there are also a lot of visual clues that Will is hooded justice. For one, he wears a red jacket, like hooded justice's red cape. His memory pills are in a bright red bottle, implying that his past is strongly linked to the color red. Uh, it helps me get my memory. Long time since I've been home. Also, there's a little hood sticking out of his jacket right here. Also in the comics, Hooded Justice refused to reveal his identity. This could be because he didn't want his actual race to be revealed, because then the police would come after him. 
And yes, Hooded Justice's skin is clearly white under his mask, but this could be makeup, the same way his granddaughter Angela paints her face as a disguise. But this also means that all of the superheroes in Watchmen were an indirect response to racial violence. The show is saying that, in America, vigilantes will always be necessary because the law has never protected all the people, just the people with wealth, means, and the right skin color. So if Will was Hooded Justice, why did he stop? And then why did he fly away on an airship at the end of the episode? Well, for one, one, he would have gotten too old to keep being a superhero. By 1955, when Hooded Justice disappeared, he would have been somewhere in his 40s. And judging by Will's condition, he might have been beaten so badly that he lost the ability to walk. So, and now I'm getting into pretty deep theory territory here. I think Will went on to make a lot of money and he became a billionaire. Then for years, he's been behind the scenes, kind of manipulating events and still seeking justice. He could have even had Rolf Moeller killed to end any suspicion that he was a vigilante. That's right. I think that Will is actually the major villain of this show, just like Ozymandias was the major villain of the Watchmen comic. And like Adrian, he's wealthy and manipulating events to serve a greater good. He has connections in the government. I've got friends in higher places. There's proof of this too. He knows the exact moment the government is going to call with Angela's DNA results probably because he told them when to call. Small detail here, the watch motif appears all throughout Watchmen. And I love how this egg timer strikes midnight, just like the doomsday clock that appears throughout the comic and this series. So, Will tells Angela about a conspiracy. If I told you about it, your head would explode, so I have to give it to you in pieces and makes it sound like he's a whistleblower. But I think he's telling her because she's actually part of his plan. He communicates just enough information to her before calling his airship to fly him away. So what is his plan? Well, I mean, at this point, it's hard to say specifically. In the comics, Adrian wants to end the Cold War, so he creates a fake alien invasion to bring together the USA and Russia. So maybe Will wants to expose the ugliness of racism by allowing the 7th Cavalry to carry out their attack. If the attack killed both black and white people, it could unite the two sides against extremists. Maybe Judd was going to stop the 7th Cavalry, so Will had him killed and framed him. I mean, after all, he does say, on the one who strung your chief of police up. Which could mean that he ordered Judd's execution, not that he did the hanging himself. But then again, he also does ask, You think I can lift 200 pounds? Or, more likely, he framed Judd because he knew that the murder of the police chief would invite retaliation and spark another race war. In turn, this could lead to tougher laws that oppress hate groups. So what do you think Will's plan could be? Is he actually a hooded justice billionaire with an agenda, or is he just a patsy? Let me know in the comments below. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. For Screen Crush, I'm Ryan Airy.